When it comes to setting up a Shopify store, you're obviously going to want to customize it as much as possible so that it best represents your business. My name is Digital Girl, and in this Shopify tutorial, I'll walk you through modifying your Shopify footer. So if we take this Shopify store, for example, it's a development store that we basically use for testing. So it has next to no content on it. And the footer is very bare. So we basically have a menu here in the first column and then a newsletter sign up in the second column. So what we're going to do is head on over to our Shopify admin, where we can add things like text, extra menus, and social media icons. So let's head on up to our Shopify admin here. And then we're going to click on online store in the left-hand menu. And you'll notice here that we're using the debut theme. Now this is a free theme that you can get within the Shopify theme store. And to edit the theme, we're going to hit the customize button over on the right. And this is where we can modify our Shopify store. We can do things like move different blocks around and edit the content. So we can either scroll down or simply hit footer on the left-hand side. And that's going to expand the current blocks that are found within the footer. So we've got a menu and then that newsletter sign up. The first thing we're going to do is add a text block. So we'll hit add block and then select the text option. And you can see here that it's been added to the end. Now I would like for it to show up in the first column of the Shopify footer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this icon here, which basically just moves it over. So I'll do it again just to get it into the first spot. And then if we head on over to the right hand side, we can go ahead and replace the text in the heading along with the text that's underneath the heading. Oftentimes you'll see companies write a little blurb about their company or business within their footer. So that's what we're going to do here. So let's say you sell home decor products, you could write something along these lines, but of course you're going to want to make sure that it aligns with your brand and business. So now that we've added our text block, we'll move on to column two, which is a menu. And again, over on the right, we can go ahead and edit what's in place here. And we can also change the menu itself by clicking change and then change menu. From there, we can go ahead and select another existing menu like main menu in this case. And then we'll go ahead and hit select. So as you can see here, it's now pulling our main menu. But what if we wanted to add a brand new menu? We can certainly do that by heading on down to the left hand side here and clicking on add block. And this time, instead of text, we're going to select menu. Again, I would like to move this over so that newsletter is on the end. So I'll go ahead and move it over. And that's really just because the newsletter is a different format. So I would like for it to be on the far end while keeping the text and the links together over on the left hand side, which I believe just gives it a cleaner look. So again, we will edit the heading itself. But this time we're going to create an entirely new menu. So we'll hit change and then change menu again. And then from there, we'll hit create menu. And this is going to bring us to the navigation area within our Shopify admin, where we can add this new menu. So we'll first start out by adding a title for the menu. And then we'll add the menu items themselves. So these are going to be the links that can be found under that brand new heading that we just added. And I'll start out by clicking within the link field here where we can have a look through the different pages found within our Shopify store. So we have things like the home page. However, we do have that in the first menu within our footer. So I'll skip that one for now. Search is always a helpful option, so I'll go ahead and add that one. Now that I've selected it, I'll hit the add button in the bottom right. And then I'll go ahead and click on add menu item again and basically repeat the process. So we'll go through and add any other helpful links that we can find. And if you need to, you can modify the name. We'll go ahead and just add a couple more here. 
Let's say we have a blog on our Shopify store. We can certainly select the blog. And then again, edit the name if we'd like. I'll go ahead and hit add. And then I'll just do one last link. Let's say we'd like to link to all of the products. So we'll go ahead and hit add again. And then let's click on the save menu button. Now that the menu has been created, we'll head on back to the editing area where we were modifying our footer. Now the only issue of course is that our new footer is not showing up in the list here. However, if you search for it in the search bar, it won't actually come up, but when you come out of the search, it'll appear. Now, if that doesn't work for you, you can always save your changes in the top right hand corner and then come back into it. But if you are seeing your new menu, you can go ahead and click on it and then hit the select button. So let's go ahead and save our changes so far. And then I'm going to head on back to the store itself and refresh the page so that we can see our changes so far. All right, so we now have a lot more within the footer. So we've got that text block, two menus, and then the newsletter, of course. But before we wrap it up, I'd like to add two more things. And that is the payment options. So that's like the Visa and MasterCard icons, as well as social media icons with their links. So let's head on back to our admin again. And then this time, instead of clicking on the individual blocks here, we're gonna select footer. And then over on the right, we have the actual theme options, which includes things like adding the payment icons. You can also add things like the language selector, which does need setting up before you can add it. And then same thing with the currency selector. So this is not currently set up on this store. So if I check the box, it won't actually do anything because it's not set up. But if for some reason you do have that set up, you do have that option. And then if we expand the theme settings down at the bottom, we can begin to enter our social media links. We'll start out with the Twitter link. And as we enter them, you'll notice that the icons will show up in our footer. Next, we'll enter the Instagram link. And then last but not least, we'll enter our YouTube link. Now you can, of course, add more links if you'd like but I'm going to stop at the three and then hit the save button. And then go over and refresh our page one last time. I hope that you found this Shopify footer tutorial helpful. Be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one that are specifically designed to help you grow your business online.